Sometimes when you create a task, the little task name section here, which isn't very wide, even though we can widen it like we can an Excel column, so you could type more in, it still doesn't suffice for what you want to put in. In that case, we could look at adding additional notes. So to add a note to a particular task, let's pick on paint the woodwork, for example, we want to write a lot more in there about the type of paint that we want to buy, even a price because we've already been out to cost it up. Then we go into the task information, double click, shift F2, task information box, and there is a notes section. So a whole tab just for notes. And we can click in here in the little white box and type away to our heart's content. We have a little bit of formatting control over alignment left, center, and right. We could add some bullet points and we can add a little bit of formatting of our own where we can change the typeface to some degree. So we could change that. Boring Arial. 12 point. Regular. Okay. That just changes the formatting within this box, nowhere else. Paint the woodwork. So the additional notes are the paint I need is Johnson's color strawberry room. Two gallons. Okay. Now when you add a note to a task, what you'll notice is you know there's a note because in the indicators column, we have our first little indicator, which is a yellow post-it note, logically to indicate that there is a note behind this particular task. Now you can hover over the note and it will even give you the text within the note. So it says notes, the paint I need is Johnson's Colour Strawberry Roam, two gallons. So I don't even need to go into the task information to read the note. Same again, we've measured the room. Take me into the task information, add my note. Ensure you get all four sides measured correctly. Do not assume two sides and that the others are equal. Because for some reason, houses are not built with right angles in their corners. So I've added another note. OK, again, the little post-it note appears, so I know it's there and I can hover to read the note. Now, in addition to being able to add notes, you may wish to add an attachment. So a file, a drawing, a costing chart, so you could attach an Excel file with all your costings in. Now, I do have a plan for the room. So if I were looking to buy some new furniture, for example, here, I might need to look at that plan. So let's go into buy new furniture. Now to add an attachment, we actually do it in the notes section, so I make sure I'm in the notes. And it's this last little icon on this sort of mini internal toolbar, insert object. That brings up the insert object dialog box, and I can actually create a new object from scratch or create it from a file. I'm going to create it from a file, which means I already have the item. I then browse to the file and there is my bedroom plan.pdf and then insert. Now before I click OK on this insert object dialog box, I'm going to put a little tick in link. So it actually links to the file. So if the file ever changes, I see those changes. It also means it keeps the size of my project file down rather than embedding that PDF file within it. However, if I'm ever likely to email the project file to someone, any linked files will not go with it. So you need to weigh things up. Do I want to keep the file size down or do I want all the attachments that I'm sticking in the notes to be in the notes themselves so we can read them, whether I email it or whether they have to be on my machine. Personally, I would opt for link most of the time. I can then choose to display that link as an icon and I will get the PDF icon, the standard Windows PDF icon. If I don't display it as an icon, what happens is it actually tries to pull in the document as the link. And depending on the size of the document and whether it's got text or an image, that can cause issues in the notes area. I'm going to retain this as display as icon. I can even change it from the default icon if I want, but it makes sense to have the default icon. And I'm going to link through to my bedroom PDF. OK, that then sticks, as you can see, an icon, which is a link to my bedroom PDF. If I then say OK, 
we can see I have a note, but it just says notes and speech marks. There's no actual note there to tell me there's an attachment. There's no paperclip to tell me there's an attachment. So to get around that little drawback, what we do is we place some text just before the insert that says attached bedroom plan in PDF format. That way, when I say OK and I hover over the note, the note tells me there's a PDF attached for the bedroom plan. If I then wish to open that attachment, I simply go into the task information, select the icon and then double click to open. Do you want to open this file? I do. And it opens and I can browse and view. Once I've finished looking, if it's a file that I can change and I can't change the PDF, but if it were a Word file or an Excel file, if I were to make some changes, I could save those changes and then close the file. In this particular case, all I can do is have a look, great, and then close. Which then brings me back to my PDF inside the task information, which I can then close and I see my little post-it note. So we can add notes to any task we like. We can add notes to multiple tasks by multiple selecting and then go to task information. I could choose these three, task information. And you'll see that you cannot assign notes to multiple tasks because they're seen as individual values. So you would need to do notes on a task by task basis. If you need to lose a note, we simply go into the task information and delete the text that's there. OK, and the note indicator disappears because there's no longer a note. Similar with the note that is a PDF behind it, I would single click on the linking icon and then delete to remove that linking icon and OK. Now I've left the note there, so I should lose that as well, really. OK and the little post-it note disappears. So that's behind each task, you could add further information, either in the format of you typing a bit of text or by attaching an external file.